I've been told that we have received a broadcast from our field reporter, Rebecca Chang, who is inside Fortune City. It is clear that the outbreak started in the Fortune City arena during last night's Terror is Reality show. Information received from a behind-the-scenes source reveals that this outbreak was not an accident, but rather an act of terrorism. This shocking footage was obtained from a source inside the Fortune City Arena, the site of the Terror's Reality Game Show. It may be upsetting to some viewers. Initial reports suggest that the man in the video is former motocross champion Chuck Green. What? Green. A member of the zombie rights protest group Cure was a contestant in tonight's pay-per-view game show. Acquaintances describe Green as a known drifter who is still angry over his wife's death in the Vegas outbreak. This horrible act of terror appears to be an escalation of violence for the protest group. This is Rebecca Chang reporting live from the Fortune City Hotel in the heart of Fortune City. What? That's complete bullshit. That was not me. Did you have something to do with this? No way, not in your life. My daughter and I barely get out of that arena alive. What possible reason would I have to do something like that? Why are they saying you were part of Cure? I went to one meeting, once. After I lost my wife. Look, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I'm being set up. I think I know why. It's not the first time members of Cure have been falsely accused of being involved with an outbreak. We were in town protesting that awful show you were on. Do you believe me? I don't know what to believe. But you sure don't seem like a terrorist. And I know we weren't involved. Look, we have three days before the military rolls in. That's how much time I have to prove I'm innocent. The reporter, the one at the hotel. The tape she had, it's a complete fake. She said she had a source. Whoever that is must know more. I need to find out where she got it. She said she was in the hotel. I'll keep an eye on your daughter. I won't say anything to her. I don't want her to worry. 